Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Please visit our blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com so that you're sure to get the latest Excel charting techniques and other things that will help you do your jobs easier when using Excel. Okay, uh, today's a problem that I ran into when using Salesforce.com reports that were exported to a CSV file format. Brought them into Excel and uh, when I typed in formulas like, uh, let's go ahead and go equals sum um, of uh, this information right here. Um, it actually didn't work. Uh, it's just putting text in there. It's not. Um, it's not actually calculating the formula. Look at that. It just keeps doing text there for me. So, um, I was trying to figure out what is it that we could do to fix these certain problems. Uh, I, you might also have these problems with Oracle reports or other uh, Java reports that come out as text or CSV file format types. It's not always just Salesforce.com. I've seen it in other instances as well. Uh, when I tried to fix this problem, I noticed that I thought, well, maybe it's just looking this as text and not a number. So I went to my home ribbon, went up to the text and uh, selection and changed it to a number. Didn't fix that at all. Still it's just showing us formulas. Um, I tried to recalculate by going to my formulas ribbon and uh, hitting the calculate now button. You can also hit F9. Didn't change, didn't change anything uh, related to that. Um, you know, I even, uh, let's go back and undo those. I copied this data and I created a new spreadsheet. I pasted the data, came in and did my calculation again. I wanted to see what that would look like. And look at that, it is still just keeping it, it's in a new spreadsheet. That's, I don't understand what's going on. So. Um, let me close this one out and show you. There's a couple of ways that you can fix this problem uh, that is uh, not too difficult. There's a number of ways you can do it, and it really depends on your data. Uh, first thing I would probably do is I would highlight my range, create that new spreadsheet, and then instead of pasting the uh, actual data, I would do a paste special. And when I do paste special, I would actually choose values. Um, as my options. So once I paste these as values and I come in and do my sum, you'll see that uh, it's actually working now. So um, there is that value. So uh, that will work for you just fine and dandy, no problems there. Um, the Alternately what you can do is if you go over to the right side of your data and do your formulas, uh, they will work over there. You'll notice that's that's just fine right there, fine and dandy. Um, there are a few other fixes that uh, one of the problems uh, outside of uh, Salesforce, this was actually with a uh, template that was downloaded with merged data and it all came in as text, so they needed to keep their formatting. They couldn't do the paste special values. Uh, they didn't want to add new formulas over new sections. It just wasn't calculating for them. Uh, this company actually added a macro or uh, some VBA code to it, but um, one of their uh, groups in China couldn't use it because they had an older version of Excel, so they couldn't click on that macro button. Um, so there's a couple of things you could uh, you can do to fix this type of problem without actually pasting those as values. Is uh, and what I find is the easiest way uh, is to and let's go ahead and do this formula again so that you can see it in action. Uh, so there's that formula. Um, notice it's just showing up as text and not displaying. Uh, but I would do a find and replace. So uh, when we're going to find and replace, we're going to look for this equal sign and replace it with itself. It will force the spreadsheet to calculate those cells again. So if we do find and replace from the uh, home ribbon or control F, we're going to find an equal sign, replace it with an equal sign, and uh, just go ahead and replace all. Kind of a harmless function, doesn't do anything, but it forces it to actually look as a formula instead of as text. Uh, sometimes editing that cell uh, will work. Uh, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. I've, I've seen it where I've gone in and, and uh, gone to the formula bar and hit the enter key and it's worked. Uh, sometimes it doesn't. Not sure why it would work once and not another time. Um, there are also uh, uh, one other thing that you could do is um, in this column, so I could highlight these two columns here, instead of finding and replace the equal sign, which I think is the easiest, you could also go up to your data ribbon, and then there is a text to columns feature here, 
And what we're going to do is we're I'm going to move this down so you can see it in action. Uh, we are going to uh, change it so that uh, uh, we're going to force it to switch to text to columns, but we're, we're not actually going to create any more columns. So if I do delimited or fixed width, uh, either one's fine. Fixed width, just make sure there's only one break, not, not any other than one break at the very end of all your data. Typically delimited would work fine. Since we have no tabs in our data, I can hit tab uh, as my delimiter and hit next and then finish. When you do that, notice it forced that value um, into from text to column. Since it's no columns were being added, it won't mess up your data. Uh, find and replace for that equal sign is typically best, but you could also do text to columns also works. So if you ever run into this problem with your uh, CSV files that you download um, out of applications or reports like salesforce.com, uh, you've got many different ways that you can choose to force those formulas to work if you're finding that it's uh, an issue and not actually working within your current spreadsheet. So. All right, well, thank you for visiting. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. You can read more about it on my blog on excel-dashboardtemplates.com. Once again, this is Steve True, and uh, please sign up for our blog. And until uh, next time, thank you.